Hello everyone. Uh, we are team Kaveri and uh, the team members are Syed Abrar, Varun and Mugesh. Uh, we are going to present about the paper Analytical Current Model for Long Channel Junctionless Double Gate MOSFETs. And uh, the technical terms in this title are Junctionless Double Gate MOSFET, Long Channel MOSFET and uh, the Current Model of a Transistor. And here, uh, what is the Junctionless Double Gate MOSFET? It means uh, uh, is a thin semiconductor film or a nano wire with extremely high doping all the way from the source to drain. To switch the drain current off, the gate is ordered to create full depletion underneath. The advantage is junctionless can exhibit low leakage currents and excellent short channel behavior at shorter gate lengths. And then the uh, double gate MOSFET. Dual gate, as the name says, two gate terminals are used. The second gate terminal is used to control and reduce the feedback capacitance between input and output and thus the amplifiers become more stable. It is mostly used in higher frequency RF amplifier applications. And uh, the second technical term is uh, long channel MOSFET. The long channel devices are the good old devices with uh, no short channel effects. Strictly speaking, there is no geometrical threshold for which we can define the long channel devices. Uh, short channel length devices provide higher performance than la longer channel length devices, but the longer channel length has significantly reduced the sub threshold leakage current. Yeah, ma uh, so, uh, what is meant by a short channel MOSFET? A MOSFET device is considered to be short when channel length is the same order of magnitude as the de depletion layer width of the source and drain junction. As the channel length is reduced, then it is so called a short channel length, or, uh, short channel length MOSFET. So, for a long channel MOSFET, the channel length is uh, channel length should be extremely high. And here the uh, here uh, what we are talking about the uh, uh, talking about in the paper. Uh, in this paper, a spice compatible analytical surface potential based model for junctionless symmetrical eight, uh, double gate uh, MOSFET is described. By using the gradual channel approximation, uh, uh, the uh, equation such as 1D Poisson equation uh, is solved to obtain the surface and central potential uh, for long channel case. A continuous drain current uh, model with uh, smooth transitions from fully depleted region to partially depleted and uh, accumulation regions is then derived from the PASAS uh, dual integral as a function of the surface and central potential at the source and drain terminals. The model is verified and validated by numerical simulations over a wide range of doping concentrations and device geometries. The model has been implemented in a circuit simulator and used to simulate uh, some circuit uh, building blocks without any conversion problem. And uh, here uh, uh, the, the paper consists of the electrostatic potential model and the drain current model for the uh, double uh, gate junctionless MOSFETs. So as Varun said, what uh, about the our paper? Uh, so ele electrostatic potential model. So what is meant by electrostatic potential model, and why are we doing this model? What uh, why model? Why is modeling a device an important parameter? So modeling helps the uh, helps predict electronic devices' performance in varying conditions like temperature, voltage, and frequency. So these models are mathematical representations that describe the MOSFETs characteristics under the different operating conditions. So there are two models which we are going to undertake in this paper, which are electrostatic potential model and drain current model. So for each model, we are going to see the derivation and the validation of, of those models. Uh, let us move to the electrostatic potential model. So this is a model where the formulation starts by solving the electrostatic potential in the ch channel of symmetric double gate junctionless MOSFET. So we are going to undertake some of the parameters, physical parameters like uh, silicon, uh, silicon thickness, oxide thickness and length of the silicon film thickness gate oxide thickness and gate length respectively. So here ND represents the uniform doping concentration in the silicon film. So uh, the electrons quasi Fermi potential in the new uh, neutral source is defined as zero. So let's move to the ba uh, basic derivation part where the unli uh, unlikely the conventional inversion mode MOSFETs 
the junctionless transistor operates from the full depletion to accumulation instead of inversion. Here the charge density arising from the holes can be ignored in the electrostatic analysis of n-type junctionless transistor. Finally, we are able to derive the equation. The second relationship between the surface and central potential can be obtained. Now, for the given gate voltage VGS and quasi Fermi potential VGS, surface and central potentials in the symmetric junctionless double gate MOSFET. Analytical solutions are performed here of the, and the surface and central potentials to the flat band voltage are used in the initial guess. Then we move to the validation process where, uh, where these both graphs give, uh, gives the simulation results for, uh, for the electrostatic potential modeling. Uh, here the gate to source voltage is very high at the region of 1 and normalized mobile charge density comparisons between model and simulation results. Uh, uh, there are two parameters like different oxide thickness and different doping concentrations. Shows the normalized mobile charge density versus gate voltage and its comparison with the simulation results. So at last we are able to derive a very good agreement between a model and simulation results in the entire range of operation over a wide range of oxide thickness. So this is how uh, these two results are being um, are being uh, are being obtained in the electrostatic potential. Drain current model derivation. As conduction takes place in the middle of the frame in the junctionless structure under partial depletion and the accumulation regions. The charge sheet approximation which assumes conduction through a sheet of charge at the channel surface close to the insulator interface cannot be used. Based on the potential obtained in the previous section, the drain current model for JLDG MOSFETs is derived from pav -SOS dual integral which contains both a drift and diffusion carrier transport. Under the assumption of GCA and constant mobility along the channel, the drain current can be written as uh, following equation. We would like to point out these equations are derived from Pavosas dual integral directly. Thus, they are physical and continuous without any fitting parameter. Moreover, it used as single set of equations to describe the drain current for all regions of operation in JLDG MOSFETs and they also have a smooth transition from fully depleted region to partially depleted region. Then drain current model validation. This figure shows model predicted transfer characteristic of a symmetric JLDG MOSFET at two different drain to source voltage together with numerical simulation results. Good agreement is observed from fully depletion to partially depletion regions. Comparison of the output characteristic from the proposed model and the numerical simulations at different gate voltage is shown in figure 5. Uh, with two doping concentration, it shows good agreements not only in linear region but also the saturation region. This figure shows model predicted drain current versus gate voltage with a different channel thickness. Compared with simulation results to avoid the complication due to quantum effects, we limit the minimum film thickness to 8 nanometer. The developed, the developed current model achieves fine accuracy. Devices with larger channel thickness have more depletion charge in their subthreshold region, also require even negative gate voltage to induce those charges, which means smaller threshold voltages. The flat voltage does not change change so in their accumulation. The current is almost proportional to the channel thickness. The comparison of tra transfer characteristic between model and simulation results with different gate oxide thickness. Application. Application in circuit simulation. After validating the accuracy of model for an individual device, the compatibility of the device with the spice Based circuit simulator is investigated. In addition to the terminal currents, 
the derivatives with respect to terminal voltages are needed to obtain the node voltage of the netlist through iteration the presented model does not include the charge and capacitance formulation and applicable mainly for dc simulations to ensure fast convergence the current derivatives have to be smooth and continuous over the entire operation region of the transistor this we have shows the transconnect tens gm versus the gate voltage characteristic with different oxide thickness shows the output conductance gds versus the drain to source voltage characteristic with different gate to source voltage even though we did not explicitly consider the derivatives during the model formulation the physics based approach to derive the current equation has ensured the continuity and smoothness of the derivatives with reasonable accuracy the model has been implemented into a circuit simulator such as spice with a very large a code which will be available from the i mos platform as a demonstration of the model convergence and inverter circuit is simulated with different operation voltages and the voltage transfer curves are shown in figure 10 further benchmark circuit test so the developed model can be used for circuit simulation without convergence issues so the conclusion of this paper at last we are able to derive a much uh, a lot of things about a, a derived and analytical model for the long channel junctionless symmetric double gate mosfets so this model was developed uh, developed uh, developed and started with the derivation of an analytical channel potential which is a solution of the poisson's equation from the full depletion to accumulation the channel potential is then used to, to directly calculate the current from the poisson's uh, double integral the resulting model consists of a single equation that covers all operation regions to ensure that the model is physically accurate continuous and smooth over the all bias voltages comparison between the model calculation and numerical solutions to the poisson's equation and drift diffusion equation shows good agreements over a wide range of bias voltages the model has been implemented into a circuit simulator and has been demonstrated to function properly without any convergence issues thank you